farm. So in the last video I said that on Monday we might be harvesting. Well today is Monday and I've just measured four mils of rain. So we won't be harvesting barley today and I doubt we'll be harvesting anything else. But what we are going to try doing is windrowing some vetch. Right, we made it back to the machine. Let's start her up. We'll hook her up to the front. And then we've got some things to do to change it from canola mode into everything else mode. Rightio, so what I'm doing now is because we use this the, the windrow front for spraying and windrowing at the same time, we've got this spray bar. See all these nozzles that run under here? This is for spraying under the windrow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that off so that we don't knock it off when we're down really low on the ground doing that vetch. So yeah, we'll just take it off. There we go, got it out. Alright, so you can see we've taken the rotor shears off the ends. I've turned the top auger off so it won't be spinning. Spray bars off and I think we're about ready to have a go. So I'll show you what we're going to do. This stuff here, it's been cut for hay. This stuff here, we're going to try and harvest. I don't know whether it's going to work or not, because you can see there's not much difference in height between this stuff and this stuff. But like I said, it's really stringy and ropey. So the pods are not going to split open. So we should be able to just kind of scratch it in with the reel and pick it up. It's all laying this way, so, or it's kind of laying every way, but this way mainly, so we might have to go, we'll try coming from this way, we'll try coming from the other way too. See what, what will work the best. All right, we're gonna hop in and have a go. All right. So we had a try up the other end of the paddock. It didn't really work that well. I just tried a little bit on an angle here and it did some, but didn't really work that well. I just tried this angle here and for this first bit, it worked really, really well. And then I don't know what changed, but then it stopped working and then as it come up here, it really isn't working at all. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to win right, unfortunately. Um, Dad's just headed off now to get the tractor that's got the slasher on the back of it, and because it's still, it's still um really ropey it's drying out though but it's still really ropey we're gonna see if we can actually like mow it like cutting hay like mowing it and um see if we can do that and get it into a row and then we might be able to pick it up from there so anyway we're gonna try a few different things and and see what works Here's the slasher. This is our next, our next thing to try. All right, so we've adjusted the height of it. Still looks pretty high to me, but anyway, we'll see what happens. We've never done this before, so we don't know what's gonna happen either. Well, doing something. Uh, 
there is some pods in the row, but there's a lot that are not. So we've given up on the slasher. That just wasn't working. We're gonna head back home and find the lifters. And see if they'll fit on on the windrail front. And then if they'll fit on, well we might try putting them on and see how that goes. Okay, so quick recap. We've been in and had some lunch. We took a a lifter down to back down to the paddock where the wind rower is and figured out that it was not going to fit or the lifters were not going to fit on my wind rower front so we can that idea instead what we're going to do is spend the time and put the lifters on the header front and then we're gonna we'll probably have to straighten them a bit and then we're going to take the header up there have a try see if that works another thing that I'll have to do is put the auto steer in because it's still in the front end loader tractor and we need it in here because I don't like steering now we've got to unhook the comb trailer off the header Got that unhooked. Now it's time to pick out the front. All right, so I, well, I tried to pick up the front, but when I picked it up, it wouldn't come off the trailer on this side because this tire is a bit flat. And I didn't want to take the air compressor all the way down there. The big air compressor's at my place, so I just, I'll use the old one here. But I also remembered we've got to weld up this shaft because it's rounding off to almost circle. So I'll build that up and then uh, I'll pump the tire up and go and get the front. I built that up a little bit. Hopefully it's all right. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. It's a bit of a farmer job, but anyway, we'll go and pump the tire up and pick up the front. Hopefully. I've got it this time. Alright. So we've got it all set up here. We're just about to start putting the uh, lifters on. Got the rattle gun. And we're about to get it. We just ran through all of this machine. We got the lifters on, on there. We just ran through and greased everything. I've just put the, um, I don't know what you call it, the top bits on the, on the grain bin, on the box. Now I'm heading over here. I'm gonna get the GPS or auto steer out of this tractor and put it on the header. Gosh, technology's come a long way since that old sunshine harvester down there. I must say I'm pretty glad I don't have to use that. All right, here we are. We've made it back to the paddock. After shuffling through numerous gates. Shuffling through? Shuffling, I don't know what I was trying to say. Shuffling through numerous small gates. We've made it back here. Let's have a go. Here we go, we've had a bit of a go. Seems to be feeding in pretty well with the lifters. We just gotta get the header dialed in now. All right, so we stopped and had another look. We're gonna have another go, so I'll just put you down because I'm concentrating too much and you can just see it happen.
Well, it's going. We're getting some. Jeez, it's flat on the ground. I'd say it's going pretty good, really. I'm pretty happy with it. How it's, how it's going? Yeah. It's definitely not easy conditions anyway. So I just tried harvesting going this direction and it's really not picking it up. So what we're gonna have to do is just harvest from this end of the paddock down this way. And then when we get down to that end, we'll just turn off, come back up here and then harvest back this way again. It's a pain, but well, we're getting more, more uh, grain because of it. I just stopped because I saw something very bad happening and I'm going to, whew, that was a long step, I'm going to fix it. So we're down here in the front and right here there's a stump. So one, once upon a time there was a tree growing out of this. Um, but that's not now. It's just a dead stump that's in the paddy. And if that had gone through the header, well, who knows what could have happened. But let's just say it wouldn't be good. So I'm glad I found this and I'm glad I stopped to get it. There you go. What up farm? Welcome back to another day. My GoPro battery ran out yesterday and we just finished off a corner and pretty much got a box full and knocked off. Now dad is taking the truck up to the paddock. I'm heading up my ute with the fuel cart on. We're gonna fill her up with fuel, empty the box, have some lunch then we'll come back down and get into it. Start harvesting. Well, I could have parked a bit closer. Fuel's going in. He loves his truck. All right, so we're getting some. Yeah, we're getting some. But I've just noticed one of the lifters has bent down. These are the lifters here. And this one's bent. So how we fix them, big spanner over the end, and then we just push. Now he's back good as new. Well, I don't know what just happened, but the feeder house is blocked. So we're about to have a look, hop out and have a look and see what is causing the issue. Ah, ha! That's dump. That's what's causing the issue. It's wedged in there pretty tight. Here we go. I'm glad that jammed the feeder house because that would have been pretty nasty going through the rotor. 
All right, so I just want to show you guys how low we actually are. So this stuff, this stuff here has been harvested. This stuff has not. As you can see, there's not much difference. It is, it is low, proper low. The front's scraping on the ground. We're having trouble picking it up, so yeah. The good old 2188, she's doing a good job. Pretty good, really. High concentration, that's for sure. So it still looks alright. Can't see any at the moment. But just here, that thing is there. That's a mushed up snail, and there's a lot of them in here. So, that's not ideal, because they bring the moisture up in the bin. Right, they do it in a place. There's nothing really we can do about that though. There's also a fair bit of milk thistle in there. There's nothing we can do about that either. Aside from spraying it and let, letting it dry off, we're just letting it dry off, but we're here now, we've got to do it. Um, so yeah, we'll probably have to get this cleaned to get them out, depending what Dad decides, but yeah, anyway. Bit of a pain, but is what it is. Done. Vetch harvest is done. There's only 10 hectares. But <laughs> I'm glad that it's finished because that was a pain. It was really hard going. Anyway, hopefully we'll get on to the barley tomorrow.